Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Fanny Pack Swaggin. Today, I want to be going over Half Life Advanced Effects, uh, otherwise or otherwise, yeah, otherwise known as HLAE. Again, that's Half Life Advanced Effects. Now, some of you may be wondering, well, what is Half Life Effects? Advanced Effects, like, what does it do? And Half-Life Advanced Effects is the program or the software uh, that you use for CSGO cinematic movie making along with other games I believe such as like TF2, um, TF1. There's some other games that you can use Advanced Effects with um, but primarily what I use it for is Counter-Strike and that's what we're going to be going over in this video today. So what I'm going to do just gonna go to regular search engine HLAE CSGO. First one at the top, download advancedeffects.org forward slash download. This current release, you wanna make sure that you're always having the current release for this software. Um, so it's a zip file. I'm just gonna download the zip file real quick. If you don't keep this software up to date, there's a chance that either the software or your game could have issues. So make sure that you're keeping the software up to date. All right, so I'm gonna show it in folder. As you can see, I've tried this a few times. Uh, I've had various problems every time I've tried to record this video. So hopefully this is the one. All right, so I'm gonna right click on it. Hit extract all. All right, now I want this on my desktop. I want to be able to access it on my desktop. However, before we just go hit like select folder, we're going to hit or we're going to right click new folder. I already have HLAE as a folder, so I'm going to do HLAE1. You can call it whatever you want. So I've created the folder. I'm going to open up the folder, select folder. Extract all the files. If you don't create that new folder, you're gonna have all of these files just scattered around your desktop everywhere. So make sure you create a new folder. All right, so after it's all downloaded, this is what it looks like. And you have to launch the application, which is right here. You have to launch it from inside the folder with all of the other uh, DLLs also uh, present so that the application can access them correctly. So, okay, it says, doesn't know the publisher, that's okay. I'm gonna run it anyway because I trust the publisher. It asks you, like I said earlier, check for updates automatically. Yes, you wanna check for updates automatically and be able to uh, run updates whenever they're available, just so it doesn't mess up your game and it doesn't mess up your software. Just make sure you keep it up to date. All right, so after that, we go to tools, developer, custom loader program path this is just basically asking me uh where's your application that you want to run uh these dll's with so i'm going to go into my local disk this is where i stored my game program files 86 steam steam apps common counter strike csgo application right here all right then i hit open now my command line, everything here looks good besides one thing. I'm going to take out this piece that says window. I don't want it to boot into a windowed mode. I want it to boot into full screen so I can record. DLLs to inject. We're only going to inject one DLL. And it's this hook source DLL right here. Okay, everything looks good. We hit okay. Now it's going to launch my application and I'll show you guys real quick how we're going to test just to make sure that uh, the application was downloaded and installed correctly. Real easy way to test this right off the bat. Alright, now that the game is loaded, I'll turn it down. Alright. Now that the game is loaded, we can do Merv, M-I-R-V, underscore. Okay. So, now that the Merv uh, commands are popping up, I know that I did it right. I'll show you a few commands that we can use inside of uh, Half-Life Advanced Effects. And I'll show you how I uh, movie make a little bit. 
So I'm going to launch into one of my game demos right now that I've used for previous videos. One was used for my economy video. That's me right there. So we're going to go back to me. That automatically turns auto director off. I'm going to hit shift F2. That brings up this little menu on the left over here. I'm going to pause the demo real quick. All right. So whenever I start movie making, I have an auto exec for this. Um, which I'll show you as well, but there's a few commands that I enter right off the bat. First one is SV underscore cheats one. Second one is CL draw only death notices one. That takes away everything except these notices in the top right about death. If you wanted to take away even those death notices, what you could do is you could have this on. So you could do CL draw HUD zero that takes away everything even the crosshair okay so we're gonna turn the hud on for now and i just want to take away the death notices um because i still want my crosshair all right and then i also enter voice enable zero so you don't hear any of the playback of the voice and then, like I said, I have an auto exec or I have an executable file for this. So I do exec, fanny pack frags, operation counter strike fanny pack frags is a go. And that just changes my crosshair so it's easier to view for people. Um, it also has some of the commands that I have bound. So I'll show you real quick what those commands are and what the commands we're going to be utilizing for this are real quick. So I'm going to go back to pretty much the same place I was in program files, 86 steam, steam apps, common counter strike, global offensive, CSGO, CFG. And then I'm going to go to my fanny pack frags config. Edit with notepad plus plus. These are all of the commands that I have for um, movie making inside of Counter-Strike. I'll copy this so that everybody can have access to it. If you would like to use my um, commands. What I would like you to pay particular attention to though up here is my binds right here. These are the binds that are going to be active. Uh, don't worry about what key they're bound to. You can just literally change this key. So if you wanted to change B uh, to Z uh, as in Z um, quotations, Merv underscore camp path add semicolon echo camp path added end quotations if you wanted to do that you could totally do that uh, this just makes it easier for me uh, with my keyboard and with my razor naga that I use for editing uh, so just kind of don't pay attention to the keys that I'm using all right but now that I have that enabled all right so when I hit space twice, you can tell that I can look around. I'm in a free camera, but I can't move around. Unless the demo is playing, then I can move around. We can fix this. So we're going to go to console, merv, underscore, input, camera. That's one of the commands that I have uh, in my exec as well. But you can just type it in a console, so now you're moving around. Okay, so let's say I want to slow it down. I'm going to go to shift F2 again. I'm going to hit 50%. I actually want to slow it down to about 34% here. I'm going to get up here. I'm going to write down the tick that we're at currently. 2253 is the tick that we're at currently. And just literally change this key. So if you wanted to change B uh, to Z, uh, as in Z, um, quotations, Merv underscore camp path add semicolon echo camp path added end quotations if you wanted to do that you could totally do that uh, this just makes it easier for me uh, with my keyboard and with my razor naga that i use for editing uh, so just kind of don't pay attention to the keys that i'm using all right but now that i have that enabled all right so 
When I hit space twice, you can tell that I can look around. I'm in a free camera, but I can't move around. Unless the demo is playing, then I can move around. We can fix this. So we're going to go to console, merv, underscore, input, camera. That's one of the commands that I have uh, in my exec as well. But you can just type it in a console, so now you're moving around. Okay, so let's say I want to slow it down. I'm going to go to shift F2 again. I'm going to hit 50%. I actually want to slow it down to about 34% here. I'm going to get up here. I'm going to write down the tick that we're at currently. 22.53 is the tick that we're at currently. I have our camp path clear. Alright, now you can see that because inside of my file here I have whenever Merv Cam Path Add is initiated, Echo Cam Path Added is also initiated. So that means that this command right here, anytime this is echoed, this Cam Path is echoed, that means this was initiated successfully. You can see in my console that I have a bunch of cam paths that were initiated successfully from the point of tick 20,000 to tick 20,787. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go demo, go to tick. We're going to go to just before 20,000. So I'm going to go to 19,950. We're going to escape out of our camera. That's a big piece. You got to make sure to get out of your camera. And we're going to start the demo. This is where I would typically start recording as well. There it is. Obviously not the greatest cam path in the entire world. It's just for illustration purposes um, That these are, are the basic commands that you're going to be utilizing whenever you're making these cinematic movies Cam path add puts the cameras into a different place and creates like one fluid piece of art um, That combines each other together um, Bind V demo toggle pause so that just pauses and plays the demo without having to open up Chef 2 or Shift F2 and um, hitting resume and pause. The input camera is the camera that you are utilizing. Um, it's like your free roam camera. And H, Merv Cam Path Clear, so that clears all your old cam paths so that they don't interfere with new cam paths uh, if you're trying to get multiple scenes from one singular video. And Merv Cam Path Enabled just tells the camera to follow the cam path. If you have Merv Cam Path Enabled 0, then despite having cam paths added, it won't follow the cam path. This is just kind of like a fail safe technique or feature almost, but you have to make sure that it's enabled. So that's pretty much what I got for you guys in terms of uh, basic Half-Life Advanced Effects functions. Um, if anybody is familiar with this software and you would like a more advanced uh, deep dive kind of tutorial or guide into the game, I'd be happy to do that. Uh, let me know in the comments what videos you would like to see in the future. Uh, if I know what videos you would like to see, then I can work more efficiently on making them faster in the future. Go ahead and drop a like subscription if you haven't already and you enjoyed this video, you found it helpful, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.